Welcome, Rebecca. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Let's see, Rebecca, you look like you stuck around. <laughs> just trying to get my filter to come up, and uh, it was giving me a hard time. Okay, I'm going to just do a little filter. I've been trying to find some planets, but I can't find any. The, the skies are clear. So welcome, everybody. I was going to do some live hunting, but it looks like a waste of time. I mean, all the skies are clear, even uh, blue skies in a lot of places. <clears throat> so here we go. We got five people. That's enough. Let's just switch over screens. Um, this is my filter I use. I'm going to share it with you guys. Make sure everything's going. Oh, yeah. Loud enough. I hear that. Got to get in the background like a radio almost. Let a few more people get in here. Everybody, welcome, welcome. I didn't put a lot of uh, a lot of notices out at all. Anyways, we're gonna start right here where I started the other day, and uh, I'm gonna just continue filtering. And uh, if you guys see something in the sky in real time on some cam, let me know. Give me the address, and I will take off and go there. Make sure everything's working good here. All right, let's do some filtering, huh? Um, I'm going to go to the other side of this folder. This folder is 15,000 pictures, so i try to get past what I normally show you because I keep getting stuck in the same spot. <laughs> welcome, welcome, everybody. Come on in. I'm not looking at the chat. I'm trying to find something you have never seen before. As you see on the bottom, we got a lot of, we've done a lot of stuff here. Let's look at that one for a second. While we're scrolling, I'll pop one up that's already filtered. Now, in this folder, I do a, a slideshow where I just do a random thing and um, let it go. I'll do one of those one day again. It's slow going. A lot of these are um, stellar cores. You've seen a lot of these in the last few filtering shows. Let's get past that. It's a lot of pictures. So how's everybody doing? You're not letting all the news about the pandemic freak you out, are you? Yeah. And then there's all the news about the... Um, Mark of the Beast. And there's news about, you know, um, New World Order coming in. So you got all that to deal with. How you guys doing with it? Uh, are you just freaking out or? There you go. That's something good to start with. This is not the sun. This is uh, 13, so 11 o'clock facing southeast. So yeah, that could be the sun. Good picture though. Doesn't look like the sun, though, to me. A lot of times when I come on here, guys, I don't really have a plan. I just filter, you know, let you see stuff. Um, not going to do no good in the folder. You guys send a ton of stuff in. I was trying to get a folder where I haven't showed you something, and it looks like I've used up a lot of my folders. Um... I got a lot of them on storage, so I got to get them out. But I still got a lot in this folder right here to show you. It's just my computer is going a little bit slow. There we go. There's something to play with. That looks like a lens flare, but let's check it out. Do double sun action. And uh, you see the black dot? Everybody's curious what it is. Well,. Somewhere we'll run into the picture of uh, lens, the uh, sun simulator. But, you know, this could be a lens flare, but this also could just be the red planet. Um, you know, I kept it because I didn't know. I did a little filter on it. A little autocorrect. And uh, boom, that's what you see. 
Let me go check the room out. See how you guys are doing. Three people. Must be a lot of shows going on. Um, I did do a notice out there. Hi, Mary. Anyways, I'm just going to go through this filter. And what we see is what we see, right? I got about a two-minute lag time, I think. Um, so these are my three years of collecting pictures. I showed a lot of them today. In fact, a lot of these I showed already. I showed that one a number of times. <clears throat> so, you know, we're not to sit there and just watch the news all day. It could really bring you down, guys. It upsets you a lot. As I run into stuff, I'll pull it up. And if we haven't filtered it, we will. I'm looking too, because there's some of these I know that have UFOs in them. Some have great planets. We did this one today. Great planet right there. And the bottom one right there. We did some of that already. Today, on, a, on the earlier video, I was showing some of Samuel Hoffman's Understanding the Sky. And and uh, I don't think I'll do that tonight. But I think I'm going to just try to find you some really good planets that happen here. This folder is loaded, guys. And I can't just take one picture. I take like 15 or 20 of the same sky. Look at that. I'm just going to dehaze it. I call it the two sun dehaze. And uh, as you look here, the original on the left. Now, if you go to the original... <clears throat> You just got a picture like that. That's without any kind of filter or nothing. So you want to really see the colors. I did an auto correction. And up here, what you're looking at is a graph of the frequencies of the color. So you can see the blue is a little bit higher. Okay, so all these are the natural colors. So now I'm going to do a fil deep filtering on it. And it's just going to bring out what's actually there. So, you know, I got a little bit of green up in there. I got blue. These are all the different colors of the planets. Um, this is going on worldwide, guys. So right here, you got the dark blue in here, and the red. You got stuff in there going on. You got a little bit of green. It's uh, Yuri. I'm going to try to uh, get the newest update on what the planet's looking like. A lot of people just want to see the, uh, they want to see the, the planet, or they want to see some kind of round, round object. There you go. Lens flare, I don't know, but I caught it in Alaska one night. I thought it was worth keeping. <laughs> it's a pretty tripped out picture. Let's see who's in this room. And again, a few people. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Getting pretty, it's getting pretty boring on this whole uh, can't go nowhere. There. Nothing's open. You can go someplace and you know, just go walk at the park here, but you know, <laughs> it's like nothing's open. It is getting boring. And I'm the kind of person that's a homebody. You know, so here we go. Let me see what else I can find. Yeah, I'm going to start out here. I know I may end up in Doug's weird folder because Doug has some strange stuff. I like this thing I found. Check this out, guys. This right here is dehazed. And then you can see I did another one on it. Try to bring it out. But what I was really curious about, you can see the sun simulator in there. But I was really curious about this little. See, it's a one, two, three, four, five. And I've seen these kind of ships. These are ships. They're like hectagons. They're part of the sun simulator activity. Um, the middle object, see how it's square? And you can really see a lot with this filter. Um, let's see if I can tone it up some. Here's a silver filter. 
So a lot of people are just happy seeing that kind of, you know, that little object in the sky there. But I'd like to see the whole thing come in. You guys know how I am. Look at that for a minute. Let's scroll this boardwalk. And you can see I've done a number of filters on it um, just to really bring that, that top object out. It's separate. It's a five-sided, right? You see it? Pretty crazy looking. People can't believe when they see it, they just go, nah, that's got to be fake for all. That's got to be fake, you know? And it's not really fake, guys. It's just that it's so surreal looking. Um, you know, it's what it is, right? Let's keep going. So you can see on the bottom where I'm scrolling, you can see the pictures. I can't get them any bigger than that, but you can see what I got to work with here. Just a few things. Um, a lot of these I've filtered certain ways for shows, but see, it's always fun to narrate them. Just see what, you know, is it nature? Is that real? Is that a chemtrail? You know, it's just it's hanging out and talk about it. Look at this. These clouds are pretty amazing. Look how the rain, it's called a rain bomb. You ever seen a rain bomb? Let's put a filter, let's do the dehazing. See, the dehazing just brings it all out. Um, anytime you guys send me something that has a filter, or I just don't have a filter on it at all. But when you already have a filter on something, you get this little marks around the mountains, you'll get them. Like right now, it's pretty clean, you get a little bit of it. Just from the picture. We can dehaze it. Once you save it, see I get those little white marks? That's a that's an indication of the filters being used. So someone tells you, no, I didn't filter it. And you see a lot of that, then it was filtered or dehazed or the gamma. There's something right in there. Let's go. Um You know, sometimes I repeat the same pictures, but then there's new people in the chat and new people in the show. And I can tell you, when I get skies like this, look at this, guys. I get these gray, weird skies. There's usually UFOs in them. And uh, when I see them, it looks like it's just like a dark gray day, but it's, it's, it's more than that. There's stuff going on. At first, I used to say, you know, what is really going on in these clouds? Now I know. It's more than ECI. It's smoke and mirrors. It's um, it's the last day obstacle show. Hi, T. Lee. Um, who else is here? Michael Joseph. I did a I did a shout out, Michael, on your channel the other night. Um, it was a two hour slideshow, and I gave you the whole last hour of it, and I just sent as many people to your channel as I could. What's up? Those pictures and those skies, I, I just took my liberty, bro, because you've been coming to my channel, so I figured I'd do a shout-out. Eventually, you'll see it. Um, let me go get the link for you, okay? But I'm just doing some filtering here, and uh, let me see if I can show you some of your shots, Michael. Hang on. Let's do that, guys. That sounds fun. I should be able to jump to his folder real quick. You'll see... Uh, Let me show Michael some of his stuff I did. <laughs> Dude, you got some beautiful skies. I did a two-hour video with some awesome music on it. I'm going to tell you the shots I took. You see these down here? So anyways, you have to go watch your movie. I did your fireball shots. Um, your golden skies were awesome. I'm trying to get to a certain... Uh, this is a family channel. Mike walks in. Michael walks in. Some of these right here, Michael. Check it out. These are beautiful. And I just, as you were filming, I was taking snapshots. And I said, you know, my brother needs a shout out on his channel. But these shots right here are absolutely oriental, kind of Asian looking, right? We think, people. That deserves a shout out.
Where are you at, Michael? You in UK? No. Oh, Sydney, that's right. Yeah, uh, now I'm in California. I put up a video today of uh, the parks being shut down, but you've seen the Walmart parking lot. Um, it's the last little video I put up today in between the big videos. But look at this, Michael. See this? Uh, see how these skies look here? It's just unreal. I'm looking on the on the page. It's about a minute lag time, people. So if I sound like I'm talking like I'm crazy, I am. But is that not gorgeous? I had to show it to him. So, anyways, Michael, uh, it's a red sun. One of your pictures, the front cover page. So I'll put the link up here in a minute, okay? And you can enjoy it later. In fact, I'm gonna go get it right now for you. Anyways, um, let's go back to what we were doing. Uh, I'll take you guys to my art folder. Here's another picture, Mike, I did on yours. This one I tagged, so make sure, you, you know, it came back home. <laughs> Here's another one I did. Fly away with me. <laughs> I loved your fireballs, bro. Right there, put a little tag on it. This is some of the stuff I got right here, guys. Um, just, I took this picture right here. Watch this. I took all this out, and this is what it ended up being. This is my art gallery. So I'll show you some of that too. So you never know what I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys. It's it's all crazy. <laughs> as long as I don't run you away. I mean, it's a slow crowd tonight. Today's video, I went on live with the uh, three day alert, right? From that video I was showing, and um, I went in five minutes. I went from zero to a thousand people in five minutes, and then it shut down flatlined. They didn't let nobody else in the door. I think the, um, <laughs> I think the AI, because I've been changing my tags out regularly, I caught them off guard this morning, and I think they had to shut me down real quick because uh, the film got like a thousand hits in five minutes, and then it got about another four hundred hits. So that's normal to get like four or five hundred hits in a couple hours. Anyway, so this is some of my artwork. Um, I like bragging about it because I'm getting better at it. I did this little piece. It was an orb in the sky, and I did this little piece, little piece of artwork. Um, here's Amy stuff, and this is see how it has the uh, plasma arc. It's all orange. This is not the sun going down only. It's even the sun. This is the natural color. Um, I just did the autocorrect, and it even gets darker. But these are the natural colors in the sky, and uh, pretty interesting, huh? Now, if you really want to put a dehaze on there, watch this thing change. Yeah, when you dehaze it, still the same colors, it just they're more intense. So then I got this one called the Second Sun. If I want to go apocalyptic, but then uh, if you look up here, you know you're looking at right here, the original. See, the original is beautiful. You don't need to really put a filter. If I was to put a filter on this, it would be something like this with the dark edges right there. And I think that's beautiful. And I'm going to save a picture of that. And you got to save a picture in the art folder because that's art. That's nature's art, right, people? So I'm going to start an art gallery, guys. And um, I already got it started. <clears throat> it's from a company called Pixel. And uh, I'll be releasing that so you guys could go check it out. But I'm going to have art in there like this. It's just really... And a lot of it's going to be you people that send stuff in. That's gorgeous, right? Look at that. That's amazing looking. I gotta check out my hey uh, MZ Clementine, what's up? Yeah, there's not. There's about 50% wearing mask here, 50% not. I finally got one, but I haven't worn it yet. I don't go nowhere, so it doesn't really matter for me. My wife just went to the store. She wore it. She came out and said, "I hate it. I hate it." Um, this is one other piece. I did an orange peel on this thing. Let me show you this. I think I put a scripture. This is this is the sky from Alaska I did. Some people actually get mad because I show art like this. Um, skies like this. You know, where else you got to see stuff like this? Right? So. <laughs> um, let me take you guys to Fresh Cap. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that. These are all new pictures down here. I don't know why I saved them. I just was out searching high and low. 
You just seen that when I made it out of the other picture. This one's interesting. So yeah, the food banks are getting packed. If you ever use the food bank, it's not usually that crowded. They're getting packed out now. I think the one here that was like a block long the first week is like three blocks of cars now. There you go. That's beautiful, guys, right there. So this is Alaska. I took that picture right there for that. Um, you see that V shape in there? There's a lot of people have showed that V. You know? Okay, let's move along. There you go. There's a planet. So I can go to my automatic dehazer <clears throat> or that's the original picture right there, folks. Now, if this was a lens flare, it wouldn't have a um, half of a, an eclipse, right? So I'll take it real slow. This is what I normally do. I'll go here, turn the fog off. Get rid of this bad camera shot. Smooths out all the colors. Just doing that two things right there. You can see the planet. This is the 19th April. And I'm kind of getting over if I show you old stuff or new stuff. I'm just showing you stuff. Watching and praying. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you know, my theme has got Jesus because you're going to need him with all this is real real stuff coming in that's just a little bit I did um, bring the exposure down a little bit bring the contrast way up bring the blacks down light in the sky give it that look It's real people, it's not our moon. That's reality right there. Smack dab, bam. There's a planet right there. And people say, well, I don't know if I believe in Nibiru or Planet X. I mean, folks, this is just pictures I picked up off of cams. I'll go pick another one for you. Let's see what that one is. And now that's not that's not a normal thing right there. I'm just going to go right to the filter. So you got some kind of anomaly going on. Something weird. See, that, that's why I picked these pictures up here. Yeah, this is too... This is 33220. 20. Okay, this is the other day, right? I'm just going to go through the pictures. The yellow is really the color. Go back to the original. Okay, what's the original color in here? Let's take all the chemtrails off of it. What's this dehazer? You take those chemtrails right off, right? And that's what you're looking at. Some kind of a circular craft or something. But notice the light up here. Pretty intense looking. That's crazy looking, isn't it? What do you guys think of a planet edge or UFO edge or what? Hmm. Let's see. What else can I do to it? Let's take it to a... Let's really filter it. See if we can get something out of it. 
what we can get out of it, I don't know. It's definitely. See how every little space is a knot? Like, this is definitely a man made creature, alien. What the heck is that? Definitely something. Let's call that a UFO, people. I never use saturation. I think it makes it look bad. Anyway, saturation doesn't help a bit. Um, to do colors, it doesn't help a bit either. It just makes it look weird, right? I don't usually use a lot of colors. Here we go. That's the difference. Not just the sun. That, that thing's some kind of obstacle. Something. Anyways. Let's go to the next one. Little thing right there. Do, do a fast e haze, what it is. Right there. I do not know. See if we can find me a planet. Some beautiful skies, though. The guy on the, the kid on the bike. There's the original shot right there. Now if I did if I click that it takes it to the original. I, this is what I turned it into. So you can do some tricks with these cameras. I don't I keep it I keep it honest, guys. You know, that's why I do the live show. But you can do a lot with them, and I would never do that. And that's like cheating your friend, right? Now here's a picture, uncut. Unfiltered. Here we go. Let's work on this one. You ready? This is gonna be amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little dehaze. Let's see what we got here. We got a little obstacle down there, a red obstacle over here, guys. I'm gonna sharpen it just a little bit. that pixelation is from um, just a camera artifact you know these cameras are not the best um, take this little noise deal and let's smooth some of that junk out we can get rid of the noise they call it noise Definitely, it's not a lens flare. Now over here in the, on the, the other corner, is that little deal over there? Okay, let's dehaze it some more. Just a real object, folks. So what I do is I put them over here in this live stream folder. That's the 15,000. And it makes the slideshows I do. I'm going to keep going on this. Um, I just want to keep that picture. Well, people would argue with me and say, no, that's just a lens flare. I don't think so. Let's do this filter right here. Two, it's called Two Suns Filter. Yeah, I ain't no lens flare, right? 
Now let's make it official picture then, right? Let's do some creativity to it. <laughs> I'm just playing, people. Um, let's just trim it down a little bit, clean it up. I don't want to take that red thing out. I'm going to take the black dot out because everybody gets mixed up with that. There you go. So one more time, I'm going to save it. I got 12 of you hanging out with me tonight. This is Clemente. How you doing? Peace, peace, peace. Calm down. Everything's good. You're going to get through this time. They're going to roll everything out. But you got to watch how much stuff you're watching on uh, the Internet, guys, because you could absolutely, like, drive yourself nuts watching all the negativity. Okay, I'm going to find you guys another one. I got a few of them right here. See, that's just one of them right there. This one's in the sun more. Let's check this one out. I'm just going to walk through the process because I like doing this where I actually take my time. It's there, but it's a hard one to catch. This is where I go in and get the gamma, the exposure. It's splendid. See, now, if it was a lens play, I wouldn't be wrapped around it. Um, let's see what I got on homemade uh, house filters here. Two suns. Well, you got an object there. For sure. Keep that one. Now, these are captures I did right here. Um, I might have been with you guys, or maybe not. Let me see what's down here. I got one more. It's a little bit different, it's a little bit farther away. I'm just going to put an automatic filter on there to see what it looks like. So the planets are right there in our atmosphere, folks. They've been like this. I've been here three years. They were pretty small, but now they're getting pretty serious. And um, I'm going to ask you that one question. You got Jesus. Have you bowed your knee and said, Jesus, come into my heart? So we're dealing with some real issues here. These planets, they're real. I think the whole Corona thing is, my opinion, is to um, distract us. Here we go, guys. I like this picture. I know I can filter this one easy. She said, this is lens flares. No, they're not. So I got a picture of this in the ISS. And it's not a lens flare. It was an actual planet-looking thing. There's the striped planet. Let's darken it up some. Well, let's do this. Let's, let's dehaze it more. So the one I caught in space was red like that as well. Um, so I believe these are actual uh, either ships. You see how it has a ring around it, a rim? This was on April 2019. And so I think of these are part of the big, the big uh, deception going on. Taking my time, folks. Look at that. Let's just make this pretty. So I don't have a sit order I go in. I just want to show you guys what I'm doing and 
show you how how much there's stuff out there okay so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm not real familiar with some of this fancy stuff I got down here I'll pretty it up for you before we leave you guys never seen this part of my show <laughs> Here we go. I want to get this one. Um, I had one. They were playing golf the other day. Watch the bottom here. There you go. Bam. Grand dance slunk. Bam. <laughs> I'm playing around, right? There you go. I'm gonna make it this color right here. Maybe that matches my picture. So there you go. That's how that's how good I am at art. Look how fast I did that. Put a frame on there and everything. Grand dunk and basketball is huge up there in the sky. Now see that piece? I'm gonna throw up my art gallery. You guys getting bored of me yet? Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Can you hear me? <laughs> that is, uh, we're in Alaska, and that's a uh, striped planet. And I was saying how I caught one on the ISS, um, that striped planet. I can't see you guys' chat, so I go back and forth. So I just kind of played around with that one right there. Um, I'll keep moving. So right here, you can see how we took that. And I'll show you the steps we went. I'll go backwards, all right? You can see the original picture from uh, step by step. Okay, I started out with that. By watching, I'm gonna go check the chat side out. Say hi to you guys. Hi Bible. Hi T Lee. Uh, hi Sarah. Um, Miss Clemente, you got peace. Peace, peace, peace. I know. I watched some stuff yesterday about the rapture and about the 666. So what I'm showing you there is I just reversed the whole process. Now I'm going to go forward. And you can see the steps, how fast, just to bring that planet out. Now, if that's not a planet, I think it's a UFO, personally. Um, it's all over the place. I caught it from the ISS. From a it was like a red haze, that stripe popped out, and then the whole planet just popped out. I got an actual couple videos of it, so I did a little dehaze right there, dehazed it. And I'm gonna do a little bit more dehaze. See that little dark thing right here? That's a planet or something. So personally, I think these are part of the alien invasion that's gonna be uh, Anunnaki invaded. So I got bored with that picture. Watch this Bible. I figured I'd throw it out. A grand slunk. Bam! <laughs> That's what I did. I actually had a live capture, and by the time I got ready, it was gone. Um, so I, I had the camera already set up, so I said, okay, let's just go and do a live show on some planet stuff. So people would argue this is a lens flare, but you know. I've seen too many of them. I know they're planets or ships. Um, let's just do a quick dehaze like I did the last one. My dehaze is called Two Suns. And then I'm going to crop it because it's another good picture, guys. So we're in uh, Willow, Alaska. This one I'm gonna go a little bit darker. Okay. And this time I'm gonna do a little bit of filters here, go even darker. 
gonna trip you out now. Watch this Bible. Every time I see the striped planet, when you get the original colors, the true autocorrect colors, brownish, reddish, it's got a rim. Pretty trippy, ain't it? That's as far in as I can go on it, but that's um, pretty crazy. I'm going to save a picture of that. These pictures I'm actually putting into my art gallery because I'm, I'm building that up right now. Have you guys heard a thing called uh, A Canvas? Well, I guess it's the thing of the future. Where um, instead of buying one picture for your wall and it looks like the same picture every time. Uh, a Canvas, you buy a LG. From LG, you buy a, this uh, subscription for like $19 a month or $10 a month or whatever. And my pictures will be in A Canvas. And if people, let's say they see something I did in the sky, they stop it and they leave it on there for a week. I get paid by the hour on that picture. So I'm trying to figure out an income until Jesus gets here. And I'm good at this, right? <laughs> and so I think I'm good at it. Um, you guys see that? Or what? <laughs> knock, knock. I know everybody seems kind of tired tonight. I think the frequencies are pretty high. But don't let it get you down, guys. I mean, really don't. Keep staying. Keep your head in the Word. If you're into the Word, if you're into God, stay with God. Talk to the Lord. Okay, I got this one. We did one a little while ago on an eclipse right here. Here's another one we can do. It's a little bit of eclipse. But just real quick, you want to see how real it is. Just put a little dehaze. You got a little obstacle down there. Could be a lens flare right there. See the color, the true colors are pinkish. Pinkish and very bright. So I'm gonna go a little bit darker. That could be a actual second sun or something. I don't know. I was saying before you get these little effects around the trees. When you see that. It's been heavily filtered. It doesn't mean it was manipulated or added to it, but it was, you know, filtered. There's that planet. In this green one I did a while back, there's a, there's a moon right there and the side there. And then this right here is a planet coming up. I just did it in green. You know me. I'm in the colors. Here's another picture of this. Okay. So that's been dehazed right there. Let's put some filters on it. So what we get. Notice the rim around it. Remember the rim I told you on the other one. Get the autocorrect and gamma down. But this little effect around the trees and stuff is all from heavy filtering. But see, in, in this case, filtering is really just showing you guys what's there. People say, well, that's an illusion. I say, well, it's in too many skies to be an illusion. If it's one camera, I could understand, but multiple cameras, I can't understand it. Um, It seems like I was here last night doing these pictures. Yeah, I did a lot of these for you guys already. There's a lot of shows going on out there. And I'm just going to create, create a place where people can hang out and chat and watch the sky. Talk about Jesus. He is coming back. He's alive, alive, alive. I'm trying to find something special. Special pictures.
This is what's getting ready to happen right there. Pretty soon. I already think a lot of places are super dark and um, they're, they're manipulating stuff. Here's a picture of the comet coming. You haven't seen this picture of the comet. Now this comet's going to reach, a, it's going to cover, I was watching this report, and I do have it on a clip, but it's too hard to find right here, but um, we'll get to play. But this comet covers five planets, like Mars all the way across, five planets. So the time it gets to us, we don't, they, the scientists are freaking out. They don't know what's going to go on, go on. The CEOs are underground. The cartel are being busted and brought underground with their money. <laughs> the Mark of the Beast, the, um, I'm going to do a video for you guys pretty soon. And uh, it's going to be about the Mark of the Beast and how they're going to bring it online and stuff. I'm going to do a narration on my next video I put together. But here's that comet. It's, it's going 76,000 miles per hour. They're tracking it. That's a fast moving thing. So it's going to go between the moon and the, the sun. I mean, the earth and the sun. Not the moon. But you know, now the Bible says that the uh, the moon is smitten and the sun is smitten. And tell me I went to this whole file. No way. This file never runs out. Maybe it could run out. <laughs> this was the other night. We caught this one at the um, All Sky Cams. They shut them all down, but three or four of them. So I think I got them shut down. But that was a planet, guys. You remember this. All right, I think I'm going to quit. I think I'm tired. And uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. You guys be blessed. If I see something live, you know I'll come out. But uh, I think I'm tired. God bless people. Jesus loves you. I'm praying for you over here. Watching and praying. Uh, subscribe. Thumbs up. And uh, don't get too bored. Read your Bible. Go pray. Bible, go read the Bible. <laughs> God bless, folks. Good night.